Hey Amy, it's Shana Conrad. And Liz Kukul from Make Me Hot Meals. And we're making a squash kind of casserole for our Thanksgiving idea. Yeah, it's kind of a different option. You know, we've got scalloped potatoes or mashed potatoes and casseroles and all of these things. But why not something a little bit different as your starch and we can do a squash or sweet potato or any other kind of squash. But we have a butternut squash. <clears throat> And if you've never cooked with a butternut squash before, it's really simple. This one is uncooked and this one is cooked over here, but we'll talk about this one first. All we're going to do is scoop the seeds out of here really quickly. It doesn't take much, it's just a tiny little area of seeds. You can scoop them into a compost or right into your garbage, whichever you need. I suggest compost. I think we throw away way too much food waste, so it's a good idea. Once you have that out, you're going to take a pan like this, either a jelly roll pan or a baking pan of any kind, and you're going to get water in the pan, just enough that your little squash is kind of sitting in it. All right, and then all you do is flip your squash upside down in its little water bath and put it in the oven for a super crazy long time because in the end it's going to look like this. Flips over you. Yep, it gets all wrinkly and then you know it's ready to go. It'll be nice and soft and squishy to the touch. And then you're going to be ready to scoop it into your baking dish. So we have our little dish over here and it's nice and soft as you can see it now and we're just going to scoop this into the dish and then i'm going to mash it once we get it all in there perfect so obviously you would have the whole squash so you'll have a lot more volume we're just going to show you what it's going to look like and so this is going to get that in there we're going to put just a couple of things on the stove to stir in um, this is a shallot a shallot is kind of sort of like a clove of garlic and an onion made a baby and so it's a mild onion flavor with a little bit of pepperiness, like a garlic clove. And that is what it looks like. And you can do them raw because the flavor is mild. We're going to throw them in our pan with our bacon and cook them just a little bit. I'm having a great time with this over here. It's a, <laughs> it's a huge mess, but it's kind of fun and squishy. And maybe your kids would like to do it if they like squishy things. All kids like squishy things. I have a clove, or excuse me, a sprig of rosemary. Rosemary is definitely an herb that you want to use cooked, and that's why we're doing this a little bit before we put it into the squash. So we're going to get the rosemary on the stove, get a little bit of the bite out of it, but it's also an incredible smell. And then a little bit of organic turkey bacon. I'm just going to take the end here, chop this up, throw it in the pan, and I'm mashing my squash with my lovely uh, pie crust maker yeah. that we also use to mash potatoes and squash. Also, it's when's the last time we made a pie? Okay, we've never made a pie with this. <laughs> so we, we, we use, use it for it potatoes to, and squash. We use it to mash and eggs. It's, it's all purpose. Yeah, it's all purpose. <laughs> all right, this is going on the stove really quickly for just a little bit. You're just trying to take a little bite out of the rosemary, so a couple of minutes on the stove, and then we're going to stir it right into our squash. So. Let's go to the stove. All right, when you start to hear noise, you're almost done already. And so this has been on for about a minute and I think we're good. Just a little bit of the bite off the rosemary is all we're looking for and we're gonna go and stir this into the squash that we have in that other dish. Bring right. it on over. So we're gonna put this into our masked up squash that we have over here. Smells really good already. And then we're going to add a few seasonings. I'll do some cracked black pepper. I have some onion powder and garlic powder, so we're going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Shayna has a little bit of salt. And then we're going to stir this up quickly. And everything in here is already cooked, so when we put it in the oven, we're just going to put it in there to warm it up. Basically cook it all the way yeah, through. Yeah, heat it all the way through and melt a little bit of cheese that we're going to put on the top of it. So this is a shredded parmesan. And you're just going to sprinkle that. Oh, I got some on the counter. Over the top. I got it everywhere. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> All right. Sprinkle it over the top of your squash. I don't know, squash and bacon bake? Yeah, we'll call squash it Squash casserole. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, a There's, fun side dish for Thanksgiving. There you go. So this is our fun Thanksgiving fun side dish. <laughs> for meals like this, delivered right to your door, visit MakeMeHotMeals.com. Thanks, Amy.